Well, here we are. <laughs> a quick tip, if you got, um, if you use uh, Google Maps via your phone for um, sat-nav purposes, yeah? You can have, if you put your music on first, on your phone, if you listen to your tunes, and then use Google Maps, you can, um, sorry, car coming here. You can have Google Maps and your tunes playing, well, your tunes playing through Google Maps, so that Google Maps stops the tunes when it has to say turn left, turn right, or whatever, yeah? But as soon as it's done that, your tunes come back through your phone in via Google Maps, which is great. If you like, so if you're not using a sat proper sat and have you just using Google Maps, it's great. You can multitask with it. You can have you. I don't know if you can have YouTube coming through it, but um, eventually you'll be able to have social media, I suppose, coming through your phone via in between Google Maps. But um, not a car. Another tip I use is um, if you use Google Maps for your phone, this is handy. I'll show you. If you um, oh, no, oh no, not that. If you um, well look at that then, yeah. You might be able to see that. That's what I use, which is a bit of Velcro either side, which is great. If you attach Velcro just here and here, either side of your mirror. But sometimes you can put your phone through it vlogs through there it's great and your camera you can do you still do um a vlog that way and if you put a piece the other piece this is a furry bit if you put the other bit that isn't furry or either which way around on the back of your phone your back of your phone sticks to here which means you can have google maps sat nav in your visor up here yeah so it gives you uh it'll give you a visual here and you'll still be able to see your maps. Or if you don't use, if you don't use, whoops, <laughs> I'll turn around here. <laughs> if you don't use visual Google Maps, and I don't, I only use audio. So I have the, I have the audio, I have Google Maps where I've just been showing you now, which is now on there. And the Google Maps goes up there into the roof when the visor is closed, which gives you nothing in the screen of the windscreen. Which means Google Maps can still give you audio and your tunes can still play, but it's completely wireless, effectively, yeah? if, as long as you've got a charge on it. And that's what I use. I use Google Maps via this, and it's great. And I'm a bit wonky now because... The thing that won't stick on. But the phone now is now where I've just showed you where the Vicro, Velcro, the, vel the phone is now sitting on the, the visor on the back of the Velcro. Because there's Velcro on the back of the phone and there's Velcro on the back of the visor. Which means that the visor, and that's how I'm doing this vlog now, with the phone on the visor. Which works great and it can actually flex, you can, you can, you can do all sorts of it, yeah. But a cheap bit of Velcro. Cost you about five or six quid, seven quid for that. Um, works well, wonders. Uh, at some point, I may do um, reversing, reversing, which is what my I like reversing quite a bit. I'm quite, okay, that. So I might do a reversing video. Um, yeah, but that's just a quick tip on how to actually put your sat nav, your Google Maps into your visor. And then you close the visor, which means you've still got Google Maps running, and Google Maps can still read the road. And you can have your tunes running through your sat nav, which I don't think you can have elsewhere. I'm not sure, but as I only use Google Maps, um, it works for me. That'll be enough then, yeah? Because if I, if I keep waffling on, which I can do, I'm known for doing, um, my data will pack up. So um, I'll end the vlog here. Have a good day. Ciao.